Hey guys, it's Mike here. Welcome to Auto Vlog. Today I have the 2017 BMW 430i convertible. This video right here is going to be more of, a, I guess you could call it a short owner's review of the car because my wife and I have had it for one week when we went to Key West. So we're just going to talk about the experience that we've had with this car for one week. The type of gas mileage it gets um, and its driving attributes of course the way that it looks and pros and cons about the car as well. So we're going to start with just walking around the vehicle and then we'll get inside and get back on the road. Alright so as we start with the front of the uh, 430i it's a nice looking front fascia in my opinion. Standard feature for 2017 is the adaptive headlights and the signature BMW halo design as well. Love the way these headlights look. LED obviously and then we also have fog lights. And in the backdrop here we have the beautiful uh, Golf. We're in the Isla Morada area of uh, the Keys, the Florida Keys. Another standard feature for 2017 is the 18 inch wheel sitting on two 25-45 diameter tires. Classic BMW design. And as we come to the rear here, we have a dual exhaust setup. Now for 2017, the 428i was replaced by the 430i that we're looking at here today. This one has a 2 liter 4 cylinder with 248 horsepower and 258 pound feet of torque. Rear wheel drive, no X drive on this BMW here. Don't really need it down in Florida either. Now, this 430 that we have here today is a convertible. It is a hard top convertible, which is very nice just from the optics of it. Um, it just looks just like a coupe if you want it to. Then you have the uh, power folding top, which is about a 20 second process. And then you have your drop top convertible. Now we're going to take a look at the trunk space here. And then you see the back window is right here and then you have to push this button. And that completely comes up. So does the back window part. Pull the partition up. And then you can get your luggage in. Alright, so here you see the uh, back seat space. Sitting behind myself is pretty impossible as I'm six foot two. But we have a, a black leather interior. BMW's iDrive system. Eight speed automatic transmission with paddle shifters, which are excellent by the way, that we will talk more about here when we get back on the road. BMW is always a BMW and what that means to me at least is that it is an excellent car to drive. That's what it's been known for for decades and that's what it's still known for. When you get inside a BMW, whether it's uh, 1 series, 2 series, 3 series, 4 series, 5, 6, 7 series, whatever it is, you can just tell right away when you get in the car that it's driver focused. I think my wife would agree yes being a former BMW owner herself and you can here as well seats are very very comfortable they're not racing seats or anything like that but they hug you just perfectly steering wheel the 10 and 2 grip is excellent these paddle shifters that we have on the on the steering wheel have very very direct shift response Now 
now it's giving me a speed warning. <laughs> so as I mentioned already, for 2017, BMW made the 428i the 430i. So what that entails is that it gets about six or seven more horsepower and about as much torque. It now has 248 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It's actually a very sippy engine. We did a zero to 60 test earlier. And it gets up to speed quickly. Now, with it being a driver's car, obviously it has four different driving modes. It's Eco Pro, so we now have it in Comfort, and then we have Sport. I'll do some downshifts here. And as soon as you get it in Sport, you feel right away it's a Everything changes with the car. Stiffer suspension, better throttle response, higher revving on each gear. And again, to come back to this eight-speed transmission, these shifts are very fast. And I, I think it's very impressive that BMW gives it to uh, a lower end model like the 430i, which is not uh, an M Sports car. It doesn't have an M badge on it. It's not an M4. Um, it, it just stands out in its, in its class, in my opinion, from the other vehicles that I've driven. Uh, the paddle shifters are always very slow to respond. Like you hit it, and it takes about a second for something to happen. With, with the BMW, it's instant. Then the last driving mode we have is Sport Plus. Haven't really been using Sport Plus uh, much here because we've been in Key West. Uh, horrible traffic. I mean, the maximum speeds we've been doing is like 40 miles an hour. And this being a 430i, I don't really see how you need, a, you know, do you really need a Sport Plus mode? Um, I mean, maybe on an M4 or something you take to the track and so on. Uh, if I had a 430i, I wouldn't really be, you know, tracking the car at all. Instrument cluster is typical BMW and I love that. Uh, it's a classic design, the speedometer and the tachometer. And you have a temperature gauge and your fuel gauge. It's very simple. And then in the middle here, we have a trip computer in digital format. Center stack, also very typical BMW. Uh, it, I mean, it, it's gotten some facelifts through the year, but it pretty much looks the same. Uh, one signature feature here is the volume knob. It's always so tiny in BMWs, which, you know, I don't mind, but it's just typical BMW. Six and a half inch iDrive uh, screen is standard for the 430i. And then here, here are some things that I have gripes about when it comes to the uh, BMW brand in general. This is a 2017 model. It's a convertible and it starts at $50,000. And if you've seen my POV drive video that I did a few days ago here, you have heard me speak about this already. There's certain features that just is not standard on BMWs, especially for a car in this price range. If you want a backup camera, you have to get a driver's assist package, which is an extra thousand dollars. So this vehicle, when you put it in reverse, does not have a backup camera, nor does it have backup sensors. And that to me is just horrible. It's BMW's way of just milking its customers for more money. If you buy a base model Ford Focus for $19,000 you have a backup camera which has been standard since 2015. Now for 2018 every vehicle sold in the US has to have a backup camera so I, I'm guessing that or I mean it's pretty obvious that BMW is just waiting out that 2018 year um, <laughs> before making their vehicles standard with backup cameras. Also this is pretty typical with German vehicles you don't get remote start. Um, we're from up north, we live in Pittsburgh. My car has a remote start or truck has that because we get cold winters. It's excellent to be able to cool your car down. Don't really have that problem here down in Florida, but it does also get very hot. Be nice to have remote start so you can cool your car off 
uh, and, and so on, or, or heat it up in the winter time. But you don't really get that with BMWs, nor do you really with uh, Mercedes. It's available in certain higher uh, price class option packages that they have. But again, you have to max out the options on your uh, BMW or Mercedes to be able to get remote start. Then another thing, so on this car here, it has standard power folding mirrors, which is a nice feature, but why is that standard? Why doesn't it have backup camera standard instead? It's like, it's a stupid way of uh, just reasoning, in my opinion, when it comes to uh, the technical features. And also, again, we don't need this. We live in, or we're in Florida right now. Heated seats is not standard at all. You have to get um, a climate package or, or something like that, I forget what it's called, to be able to get heated seats. Now, obviously, you don't need it down here, but you ask my wife, she definitely, she won't buy a car without heated seats. That's just how it is. Then you have to pay extra for that as well. But put all that aside, this is a BMW. It is made to be driven. So the lack of these features, um, I remember the first day that it didn't have a backup camera, that when we got this car as a rental, um, I was bitching about it and because there is sort of limited visibility when you're backing up. It's got the headrest there and everything, even if the top is down. But when you're driving the car around for a week and you experience just driving a BMW, all of a sudden those little quirks are no longer as important because this is a driver-focused, driver-centered vehicle. It's not first a luxury car, a comfortable car, uh, the best looking car, it is a driver's car. Although passengers are very comfortable as well. We are. Now the last thing that I'm gonna mention here from uh, our experience of having this car, the two liter four cylinder engine actually gets very good gas mileage. On this highway trip that we've been doing, for those of you who have driven from, uh, let's say, Miami down to Key West, it is a pretty straight shot. We did get stuck in traffic every now and then, but we, we averaged almost 38. We didn't average. Our, our top was about 38 miles per gallon. Then it went down a little bit. We got stuck in traffic, but it was around 35 miles per gallon. It is rated at 34. So it definitely gets excellent fuel economy. And the four-cylinder sounds pretty good. Also, BMW's iDrive system is actually pretty good. I didn't really like it in the beginning. It's not a touchscreen. You have to control everything from the uh, dial knob here in the middle. But it has a lot of good information. This car right here does not have a navigation. But standard, it comes with a nine speaker system that is actually good to be a nine speaker system with about 200 watts of power so to end this video we have definitely enjoyed having the bmw 430i convertible as a rental during the week that we were in key west we we're gonna get a mercedes slk at first it was a little smaller than uh, i had really anticipated uh, I've driven one before, but never really traveled in one with uh, luggage and so on. So uh, we went with this one instead, and we don't regret it. But for now, we're going to drop the top, and then we're going to cruise our way to Fort Lauderdale and fly home to Pittsburgh. Let me know what you guys thought of this uh, review slash owner's review <laughs> or renter's review of the 2017 BMW 430i. If you have any additional questions, let me know in the comments section below. Remember to follow on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Autovlog. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.